all right welcome wealth builders thank you for stopping by this video in this video i'm just going to quickly do a quick demonstration as to how to input trades when you receive signals whether it's from our group or from any other group so for those that have joined the wealth mastermind group whether you're in the free uh, group or whether you're in our vip group i just want to do this video to share with you guys how to quickly input your trades okay so let's just say you guys get a signal like this let's just say i send a signal and i say usd chf lower for 15 minutes but prior for me showing let me just uh, say that if you haven't watched our previous video when I do a very thorough tutorial on the whole pocket options Please go watch that first uh, Before this one because I do go in depth as to everything as much as I could about pocket options that you need to know Before you come to this video. All right, so after you watch that come and see this video So assuming you have watched this video, let's continue. So you're going to get uh, a signal from us let's say in our group you're in our free group and you get usd chf lower so on a desktop you're going to go to you um, this uh, part of the website where it has all the instruments and of course you have uh, currencies crypto commodity stocks indices and all of that so we are going to look for the instrument that uh, we just got the signal we got usd chf lower so let's go to usd chf right and you're gonna have otc and non-otc otc just simply means over the counter if you're not ordered to choose that one don't choose that one this is kind of like uh, mom and pop shops kind of uh currency exchange places this is the actual market right the bigger market so you're going to click the usd chf and it's going to open up the usd chf chart just make sure that is there all right, so now the next thing here, it says we're gonna go lower, but before we go lower, we have to make sure our time is correct. So we're gonna do this for 15 minutes. Uh, here, we're going to click on time, and some of you guys will have this toggle to your time zone, and instead of choosing when you want, well, instead of looking at it from kind of like two minutes or three minutes, you're looking at it from your time uh, period. To make it easier, so toggle it off, to time so we can know exactly how much time we are putting and now you're going to click on to here or highlight it you could put one five or what i like to do is i click like m5 and then i'll toggle it up to 15 if you're not like on a desktop when you're on a phone that's what i like to do so toggle that to the 15 and then here's your wager how much are you going to bet on this specific trade that we are going to do and this signal says lower first upper it will have an aerial uh, sorry it will have an arrow showing up or it'll say higher with an arrow pointing up so you got basically the signals are very clear so just make sure you are uh clicking the right one because if not you'll be losing money uh so right so this one says lower so we are now going to click lower and that's it so what happens is now the time starts to unwind going down and if you are correct, for example, as it has started going lower, assuming that the time goes to zero and it's still under, then I would have won this trade and I would have made $81 on that and I would have bet $100. Now, if it goes up and the time expires, then I'm gonna lose this $100. And the other option is if it stays the same and doesn't go up or down and it expires and it's at the point of entry, then I get my money back. So you break even, uh, you don't make a profit and you don't lose, you get your money back, all right? So that's it. That's it for this specific instrument. If you guys were to get another signal, say, let's say AUDCAD 10 minutes upper, or let's in this case, let me read the chart. Let's say someone says upper, so you're gonna go 15, let's say M5, down five whichever way it works for you uh wage 10 uh wage 100 dollars uh 10 for 10 minutes and we are going to choose lower right we're going to choose lower so now this is pretty much uh two trades that are in and you can do two you can do as many trades as you want provided you have the capital in your account now this is just a demo for demonstration purposes but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how to input the trades. All right, so the next thing is, I'm gonna show you guys how to input the trades using your mobile phone. All right, guys, welcome to this part of the video. I'm now gonna show you how to input the trades 
using your mobile phone. So the first thing you want to do is just log in and then choose your account. So right now I am on a demo account and I'm on my phone. So what basically you're seeing here is my actual phone. And I'm going to now put in three signals and give you guys examples of how to put in the signals. All right. So once the signal comes in, the first signal we're going to put in is AUDCHF OTC lower. So I recommend as you guys are watching this video to do it with me so that you guys can get the practice, do it on a demo account so you guys can get a practice, right? So uh, pause this video if you have to get your phone out, log in, get into your demo account and then follow the steps I'm about to do so that you guys can get practice with this. So now we got the signals in the group or maybe you are in another group, but let's just say you're in our uh, Wealth Mastermind group and I sent the signal all you got to do is you're going to go to your um, instruments over here, right? So you're going to click it and then you're going to click the search feature here and then you're going to put in AUD CHF and I put OTC. So you see here it says OTC. The reason I chose OTC is because uh, the markets are kind of closing right now, so it will not be available. So um, that's why, or else it would have most likely said AUDCHF. That's what we mostly trade is not the OTC markets, but I don't want to confuse you guys. Just follow whatever instruments we've given you that exact instrument. So here AUDCHF OTC and then AUDCHF. If it didn't have OTC, then you choose this. If it has OTC over the counter, then you choose this one. So I'm going to choose it. And as you see, that chart came up and here we have 15 minutes lower. So you can see my time here says 10 minutes. So you're going to click on that 10 minutes and toggle up to 15. And then if you click anywhere, anytime you click, you, let's say you click this and this pops up. If you want this to go, just click anywhere on this screen. Please do not click down here because you end up putting in a trade. So make sure you click over here. And then once that happens, you now can put in the trade. So we have 50 minutes and then make sure whatever it is you want to risk. I suggest no more than two to 4% uh, of your balance. And then you click lower. So now this is going to run for 15 minutes and then we'll see if we win the trade. The next one we're going to input is CHF JPY higher for 15 minutes, but Again, this market might be closed. So if this is not available, we'll skip it. But let's just see if it is. So you're going to go up here again and you're going to click CHF JPY and it actually is available. So we click it and it's like 15 minutes higher. So we're going to click on this time frame. And as you can see, it has one, three, five minutes, and it doesn't give you any option to toggle up, uh, toggle past five minutes because the markets are about to close. So we cannot enter a trade past five minutes. So what we'll do just for the sake of this demonstration, rather than 50 minutes, let's just say five minutes. So we'll put five minutes instead, keep it at the five, and then we're going to put a trade higher. So um, let's me click outside uh, out there and we are now going to put higher. And then we'll see if hey we will win this trade again it's just for demo purposes guys i'm just trying to demonstrate how to input these trades let's put in the last one gbp usd otc over the counter market and we're going to go lower for 10 minutes so what we're going to do now is first choose the instrument and then we're going to search gbp usd and as you can see, it's not available. All right, so this one is not available. Uh, because of the time of day I'm doing this, it's not available. So what I'll do is maybe let's change this to Euro. Euro GBP OTC. All right, so let's do that instead. So go back, click out, out, go back here to Euro GBP and then look for the OTC market, which is this one. Click it 
and it's saying to go lower for 10 minutes so now we have to go to our time check your time that's the second thing you should check and go to 10 minutes and then click out and then the next thing is how much you want to wager so for example maybe i want to wager on this one um, let's say a thousand right and it says lower so we're going to pick lower for 10 minutes and click okay and so that is pretty much it uh and then basically if you guys want to see how your trades are performing you can click under over here and you're going to see how they are performing so that is it in a nutshell for this if you guys have not yet joined our mastermind group we are learning to trade if you don't know anything about binary options that's part of the reason why i created it so we all can learn together make money together we also get signals for professional traders to help us make money while we're learning and then the second part of it is uh, we are actually starting to implement passive income opportunities and later on i'm going to be inputting real estate as well so it's going to be a very robust group join now as membership is low and as we're starting from the ground level um, and if you need any help or have any questions i'm here to help you as much as i can i am also learning so we are learning from each other and we're all trying to figure this out of course we have expert traders we trade with and a lot of material to cover uh, to help teach us and also help us learn so we do mastermind and kind of like a study group right it's like a little study group for trading so that we all can do well in this thing all right thank you guys for watching man don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions put it under in the comment area and i'll see you guys when i see you bye for now